While Nigerians were still trying to adjust to the removal of oil subsidy by the federal government, it seems there would be no end in sight for the pain the removal has brought to people across the country. Because just yesterday, Nigerians woke up to a further hike in the price of petroleum. NNPC filling stations across the country have adjusted and started dispensing at 617 Naira, while other private stations are selling the commodity at a higher rate. The Guardian Nigeria stepped out to hear from Nigerians on how they are coping with the current reality. And this is what they had to say. The price is too high for now, considering what is going on in the country. Oh, the fair price is very, very, like, it's ridiculous. It's showing us shaking the country. In two months now, this third time, they will increase the fuel. That is Nigeria. Whatever thing that comes our way, we cannot fight for ourselves. So we'll just be here whatever thing that comes our way. That's why you see we're queuing like this. This is our government, eh? It's only God that will help somebody. To fit now is very, very difficult. We are just like struggling. We are like suffering and smelling in this country. As you can see, I just parked my vehicle because there's no fuel inside the vehicle. I want to go and look for fuel right now. I don't really know if we have government in this country. So please, we are just begging the government to just help us to bring out bring down the fuel. The present government of Achiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu should do something urgently. The president needs to do something about it. Like, we need to add facts. We are suffering. Whatever financial help that they can put in place to help the masses. Tunubu Baba, Baba Tunubu don't disappoint with this guy of one and no see for a buy. So may God help us in this country. Nigerians are agitated at another increase in fuel price and the consequent effects on prices of goods and services. Is this increase another of many to come or will this be the peak of the hike? How many more hits can citizens and businesses take before the government comes up with a lasting solution to mitigate the effect? Only time will tell.